Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Villegas here in San Diego being joined with Sky Nicholson who's making her debut this Saturday on DAZN and I was talking to you a little bit off camera. A little nervous, right? Yeah, a little bit of nerves, but a good amount. I'm, I'm really excited. Coming into a pro debut, like what types of uh, thoughts, emotions come into this sort of thing? Because this is the start of, of your career, something that you feel is, is going to be very fruitful for you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a wild ride. Uh, obviously, I'm from Australia. Uh, I've set up camp in London and I'm boxing in America. So all over the place, but absolutely loving the process, loving the journey, and I'm very excited to, to get things officially underway on Saturday night. How's that been, kind of country skipping? I'm used to it, so in the amateurs we were traveling a lot, obviously with the national team um, I was always away boxing overseas, training overseas, so it's nothing too new for me, but obviously um, it's a whole new game now, uh, the pro game now, so uh, I'm excited to kind of showcase what I've, what I've been working on. When you make the transition of the program, for you, like how has that been transition? What you have to like adjust for the pro ranks? So I've, I've gone from boxing three three minute rounds to uh, my pro debut being six two minute rounds so uh, a little bit of change of pace with the, the two minute rounds but I'm absolutely loving it. I feel like I'm, I'm learning so much training with uh, my new team in London. Uh, yeah, sitting down on my punches more and um, slowing things down a little bit but at the same time um, obviously you have less time in the rounds now so um, not, not too much change but a, good little changes. I've, I've added to my armory and I'm excited to showcase that on Saturday. What do you make about the whole debate with the rounds and all that? Two minute rounds, three minute rounds, I think it doesn't it doesn't really bother me either way. Um, I, I like boxing two minute rounds and I like boxing three minute rounds so uh, I just like boxing so whatever, whatever. I think you guys should do three minute rounds but I, like, I don't even know like the reason why they they have the, the two minute compared to the three minutes but I, I feel like you guys are the same in terms of like you know the amount of work you put in, yeah. uh, the dedication, and then you see the females in the UFC. It's the same rule yeah. set uh, for them as the men. I think um, when women's boxing kind of started to take off in the professional scene, the women were still boxing two minute rounds in the amateurs. So uh, the likes of Katie Taylor, um, when they came over from the amateur ranks, they were boxing two minute rounds in the amateurs. So that change came later that we started boxing three minute rounds so maybe the same is going to happen with the pros and we will eventually box three minute rounds as well but um, I think there are a lot of women that are really keen to box three minute rounds so I don't see why they they don't look at um, pot potentially changing it. Yeah no I, I completely agree and I feel you guys should be uh, allowed to go and, and fight the three minute rounds. Uh, Olympian um, got the bronze uh, this year correct? No I got no. the bronze in the world championships, world championships. Uh, just missed out on a medal in the Olympics yeah, yeah. Uh, very close uh, semi-final, uh, quarter-final, sorry, uh, against uh, G Great Britain. Um, so a little bit of unfinished business with the Olympics, but um, with the, the recent rule changes, you can actually box professionally and go back for the Olympics. So uh, I've still got my eyes set on Olympic gold medal uh, for Paris 2024 as well. Oh, wow. So how many how many fights are you allowed to get in? As before? As as really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the rules change now and literally you can box professional, you can have as many fights as you want. Any any professional can go back and box for the Olymp in the Olympics now. So um, you still have to go through, obviously, the same qualifying process and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's definitely still in my sights for 2024. Wow, that, that'd be interesting to see if the priority changes if you get closer to a title shot. If you're like, world championship or gold medal. Yeah, the plan is to hopefully fight for a world title in 2023 and then go back for the Olympics in 2024. When you were growing up, how did you fall into boxing? Like, how, how was that story w with you and boxing? So I started boxing when I was 12 years old. Uh, my older brother's boxed. So uh, the family's kind of always been involved in boxing since before I was born. Um, my brother, who unfortunately passed away before I, I was born, um, was an Olympian, world medalist, Commonwealth Games medalist. Uh, so he's obviously been a, a very big inspiration on my boxing journey as well and um, following in his footsteps and I guess living on from his legacy. How was that like growing up, like with all your brothers, you know, boxing, like did you get picked on or I would imagine you grew up pretty tough. <sighs> No, not really. Um, I was kind of the spoiled baby in the family. I came a lot later than my other siblings, so um, no, I've, I've, I was kind of always spoiled, but um, no, I didn't get picked on. I started boxing at 12, so they knew pretty early on not to mess around with me. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine it kind of made it difficult, though, too, growing up, like when you were dating, right? You had these brothers that were kind of protective over you. No, well, um, to be fair, my boyfriends have 
pretty much always been boxers, so <laughs> <laughs> keep it in the sport, I guess. <laughs> when you look at this weekend, what do you want to display? What do you want to show to the American audience that might not be uh, so familiar with you? Uh, I want to showcase my skills, showcase my power and, um, and stamp my name early and, and make a big statement and, and show that I mean business and I'm here uh, and yeah, I'm serious about what I'm doing here. All right. Hey, Sky, thank you. Thank you nice much. meeting you. Appreciate it. it makes thank her you. debut this weekend here in San Diego on zone. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.